In this tutorial, we'll go over how you can customize menus in some of the publishing options. I'm starting with a project that has more than one show in it so I can more easily demonstrate some of the new menu features. Just a quick review on adding shows to a project. You can add a new blank show by clicking on this button. Or you can add an existing show that you're already working on by going up to File, Import Show into Project, then a list of all the shows you already have saved in your program will appear for you to choose from. So when I'm ready to publish my show, I'll just click on Publish in the upper right corner to open the Publish window. Just a quick reminder, menus are only available in disk outputs, such as DVDs and Blu-rays, and in standalone shows. There are no menus in video files or social media outputs. So at first glance, the menu window might not look all that different. The main difference is the addition of these buttons, Customize, Load, Export, and Reset. If you're coming from ProShow, you might recognize these. Customize lets you change or add elements to your menu. Load allows you to import pre-designed menus. Export allows you to export your own customized menus and Reset obviously resets your menu. Before we go into the Customize option, I just wanted to briefly go over the options here at the bottom, which is why I started with a project that has more than one show in it. If you haven't published any shows that use a menu before, your default is going to be this first theme and one show thumbnail. I know that I have three shows, so I might want to change my menu to the three thumbnail option. There's also options for text only for the same number of shows. I'm actually going to choose the two thumbnail option and you'll see why in a minute. From there, I can choose any one of these theme backgrounds or add one of my own. To do that, we'll need to go into the customize window. Parts of this window should already look familiar. You have a layer list with all of the objects in your menu, a music option, both preview and browser tabs, an options panel on the right that changes depending on what you have selected on the left, and a menu pages list at the bottom that looks a little bit like the slide list, but these are actually menu pages. If you only have one show, most of the time you'll only need one page, although you can always add more pages that don't have show thumbnails, but are purely informational, such as a thank you or an about page. I have three shows, but only chose the two thumbnail option, so I'm automatically given a second page with that third show. I'm going to back out and choose the single thumbnail option. Now I have three pages, each one with only one show on it. If I click through the pages, you'll see that the text stays the same throughout, except the previous button is missing from the first page, and the next button is missing from the last page. If you look at the layer list for any of these pages, you'll see that those are actually all global text layers, but the next or previous has been turned off when that option wasn't needed for that particular page. A global layer means that if I make a change to one of those layers on one page, that change will happen on all of the pages. If you look at the show title, you won't see that capital G next to it because those aren't global text layers. That's for this page only. If you'd like to add a new text layer to a menu page, just click on the T icon up at the top. You can also add new image layers, such as a photograph or a business logo. You can also add a new show thumbnail. Adding a new show thumbnail will only give you the same shows that you already have in your project. Image and text layers have the same adjustment options that they do in a show. You can resize and reposition them, as well as add image adjustments. A new tab for navigation also appears with text and image layers. You'll need to choose a layer action before you see any navigation options in this tab. The layer actions are found on the first tab for each of those layers, all the way at the bottom. The only navigation options that are available are inside the menu, jumping to a page, 
playing a show, or looping all the shows. Once you've chosen a layer action, the navigation menu will give you those same options for the arrow keys on the viewer's remote control. The menu background behaves just like a show background. It is global and you can use either still images or video files. Finally, you can add music to your menu by selecting the music tab on the left. Then you have the option to add one song for all pages, or you can add individual songs for each page. Click on the select button for your option, which opens your browser and launches the Photopia Music Library. If you have a music file on your computer you'd like to use, simply click on the computer icon in the upper left corner and then navigate to find that music file on your computer. Once you have your music imported, you have volume control, fade in and out options, as well as trim options. After you're done customizing your menu, hit close. You now have the option to export your menu, which is just another way of saving it. Then, if you want to start with that same menu again in a different project, you'll be able to load it. If you don't like anything you did and you want to start all over, just hit reset.